Check, 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 check. No problem. Y'all seen. What up, Scotty? About to get started. And as always, I like starting off these streams with a little inspiration from interviews, etc. As we give people chances to catch on to the stream. You know how it is. You know how it goes. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that does here so far. And shout out to, I'm streaming everywhere for the first time in a, in a minute. So whether you're on Facebook, the Kick, YouTube, Twitch, X, NASA, Nasim, sorry. I, I try to remember that. Nas, Nasim. Is that correct? Nasim? Are we good now? Nasim? I'm going to say it one more time. Nasim? Chicka, chicka, chicka. Nasim? Chuk, chuk. Nasim? Nasim? Okay, we're good now. I'm never going to forget now. Nasim? So as I said, I'm, I'm streaming on... Twitter or X, I'm streaming on Mixcloud.com, I'm streaming on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and Facebook for the first time in a minute. So shout out to my man, Danny Jr. on Facebook. I saw you a little earlier. Kind of hard to look at all the platforms at the same time. So I'm going to do my best. But the party's on Twitch as usual. And uh, Nassim, I see your joints. Lona Square. Norhack, Chantel, and a few more. And I'll check the get. I'm also streaming in my Discord, by the way. If you go to the Discord, there's a thing called the Living Room. I am broadcasting live from there, too. But before we get into the magic and the festivities, definitely want to play a little of this interview. And then we'll get to... The tracks, the submissions, you know what I'm saying? How y'all feel out there? Once again, thank you for tuning in. Let's get it. My creative itch I've been chasing is just pure greatness. I want to be undeniable. Send them tracks in, crucialfeedback at gmail.com or I Discord, the Crucial Feedback channel on Discord. In 2006, Discord. a teenager from Fontana, California had an idea. 18-year-old Chauncey Hitboy Hollis had been making beats and writing raps in his bedroom for years. But in that moment, MySpace emerged as a global connector and the world changed. Hitboy immediately saw the opportunity and started posting beats and making friends. One of those friends was emergent hitmaker Polo the Don who offered encouragement and partnership with an unforgettable opening salvo. Let's get this paper, pimp. The next thing he knew, Hitboy would be placing smashes with nearly every A-list artist, including Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kanye West, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar. However, as his success multiplied, so too did the challenges in his path. But they were ultimately no match for his ambition, culminating in more placements than ever and back-to-back -back Grammy Awards. And it all started with one idea. What did your parents do for work? And how did that inform your own career ambitions? Uh, my mom, she she was a young mom, you know. She had me uh, at 16, so I, we kind of grew up together. We used to live with my uncle when I was little. He was in an R&B group called Troop, so we kind of had it easy early in my life from like probably like one to like five, and then the struggle hit once the industry started changing and things wasn't working out with his group. As far as my pops, he was 15 when I was born, and he uh, was, you know, into selling drugs like real heavy, a late 80s, early 90s, and ended up getting locked up in 91. So he's pretty much been locked up my whole life. 
Would you say you, your uncle was the one though that sort of opened your eyes to the potential of music? Yeah, that was 100%. My uncle Rodney, that was my first introduction to like the lifestyle. He would throw parties and he had nice cars and a bunch of girls and all this stuff. And I was just like, wow, like he, he really living that life. Did you learn how to play music or instruments or anything like that as a kid? Um, no, I didn't. I just, you know, I got to go to video shoots. I would go to the studio here and there, but just really seeing the lifestyle part of it, um, not understanding how much hard work it took for real to really be in this. When you're 13 years old, you pick up the pen and start writing raps yeah. for the first time. Mm -hmm. At 15, you befriend uh, someone who is making beats, making songs, making full albums. How did you get into the flow with him to start working? My uncle actually introduced me to him. This kid is my age, 15. He got the whole setup. He had Acid Pro, he had FL Studio. And he was in his mom's like crib just making projects. I was blown away by that at the time. I just really just got in the groove like by just pulling up. I just like any, any chance I got on the weekend, like after school, whatever. High like, mind was good, man. Like, write a verse. Write Subscribe. A you my longest subscriber, crazy. That's crazy. What's it like? Fifty hundred months. What up, high mind? Forty three months. How many years is that? My math is off right now. What's forty three months? Additional production or something like it's just. You know, I just kind of got a flow with it. I do the beats on a PC, put them in Pro Tools, and then that's where I do most of my post-production. What up, everybody How did you on make the IG? From wanting to be the front-facing artist, five months making beats. I just short of four short years, three point seven years. years. Wow! Like I used to watch him make beats, and uh, just the way FL looked, like it, it, I was attracted to like what was going on and he, how he would put a sound in there and turned into a whole beat. I wanted to get my own computer immediately and put FL on it and ask. Yeah, him yeah, what's exactly good? What I did, and I just took it to a different level, I guess. I just had a different level of passion than everybody around me. Was there a specific beat that you made that made you feel like you had the confidence to pursue this as, as a real life ambition? Out of my first 10 beats, I, I like sold one of those beats. So it was like, when I sold a beat, I'm like, shit. This Beautiful is, this people is, is right, you know what, what up, y'all? You know, I sold it for like 20 bucks. <laughs> this was 2003. From there, you end up getting on MySpace and putting some tracks up there. You had a partner who was the other, there was two hit boy. Exactly. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, me and this kid from the IE. I met him and he was the person that kind of opened up. I don't know, I think I'm gonna jump to TikTok before they cancel it. From like 19 years old, so he was <laughs> before cold, TikTok like he, is done. And that was something that I wasn't tapped in with yet, just like really understanding musicality. And I introduced him to some people that I knew he had no connection to. Those people ended up signing him, kicking me to the curb, and I was destroyed at that time. I was just like, damn, like, you know, that was my boy. It was hit boys, like, we was everywhere together working, and that really opened my eyes to be like, I gotta just get on a different grind, and I gotta really just focus on myself. How do you get from there to having Polo the Don reach out cold yeah. into your DMs. My space ended up just hitting me. I guess he went to my page, saw some beats, saw what I was doing, and he was like, shit, we should work together. I came to Chalice the 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 first night we met. We went to Record Plant. That's like five minutes up the street. <laughs> and he came over here. He was working. I heard, I heard they, they about Sean to Garrett see if they, it passed so the law. I'm like 19 years old. Like, you know, I was really tapped in on like who the, the current writers and producers were. So it was mind blowing for me. It's hard At to tell point these do you end days. Up signing your first paperwork. Eight or nine it's months. A dirty game out there. Polar, maybe close to a year. I was okay. Yeah, it's hard to tell nowadays because, you know, I heard they got this little thing going where you got to write your congressman to see. If they ain't gonna let the Chinese app live, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all it's about. That's all it's about. Yeah, I don't know. They might. Maybe uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon might buy it. That's too much control, man. It's too much control. You need competition, in my opinion. 
a long time, long stretch from 07 to just getting a new deal like a few months ago. Like yeah, it took That's me 14 crazy. years and a bunch of hits. I got diamond records, I got three Grammys and then, you know, it just still like the way they word certain S. things. That's see yours. It won't necessarily compute the same as No I had three AM in Germany was when good. When you got offered that deal you had had a couple placements only? I had no placements. No placements? No, I had no placements. So then how did you even finesse getting a, a pub, pub deal at that point? Paulo was powerful. He had the connects. He was locked in. And um, somebody had actually offered me a, a pub deal. Spam and it was crap. Like it was a super low ball number. And when Paulo came and told me that he had 50K for me, I was like, what? Like, my, my, I never seen that type of bread, like, probably on a personal level, especially, but. Yeah, that just was, it was like, wow, this is for real. How long? Rusty joints with the resub. You Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, that's niggas and pants came out. Once that came out, I'm like, okay, where's, where the real bread at? Like, where's the level up? And they're like, well, there's the contract. And it's, it's saying all these things to where, you know. Jacob, good not, morning. It's not going to advance you through your deal and let you get a new Another day one, yes, sir. Another situation. Uh, you Before know, I, I did Twitch, as you like to. when I was yeah, still was doing, when I was doing IG and, and Facebook, really having to look and be like, okay, so this is how the industry works, and this is what the real bullshit is. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch to TikTok. When man. you think about Instagram. that pub deal, again, like you said, at nineteen, fifty thousand dollars seems like an unimaginably big amount of money. Mm -hmm. When you reflect on it, fourteen years later, how much do you think you left on the table? Man, it's, uh, you know, that's something that you can't even really calculate, you know. I mean, you know, the industry also changed. So, you know, back in the day, it probably wasn't that bad of a deal because of how the game went. And it was like, it would benefit you more to even just get a placement on an album. Like, you know, albums were selling at the time. Like, you know, people were still buying CDs. So the game ended up shifting within a few years and shit just turned different. All right, cool. You do start getting some placements, though. Mm -hmm. In that 2006, 2007 era, how did one even go about getting their records to people? The right people being around me and, and having the right connections with the right writers. Indeed, hi, man. Get some beats to these Appreciate writers. you. Did a crazy song. Jennifer Lopez heard it, and she ended up recording it. I still never met her to this day, and, and she bought my first professional beat ever. I process criticism the same way I take compliments and somebody telling me I'm great with a grain of salt, just like that's one way to look at it. When did you make the transition from just being a guy that emails beats to being a guy that's in the studio, you know, coaching vocals and really like digging in on the idea side of things? That's been a process. I was doing that at that No time. problem, like, Rusty. We're going to be here a minute. Atlanta, Take your time. To Atlanta, like, 07 to 09. You could promote your Polo latest releases so as well, brother. Everybody came through. It was a bunch of artists. We would sit there. We would play records. We would make you know records saying? with a lot of the up-and-coming artists. So I've always been on that, trying to lock in on understanding how to layer up music, bring live musicians in, really getting into, like, the vocal side. 2015, I had a session. Uh, and, and the guy who owned the studio, he'd been in the game for so long, and he told me that if you really want to stay in the game, you got to learn how to produce vocals. You got to learn how to make a good song over, you can't just have a good beat. And I think, yeah, that was like six years ago, and that's what made me be like, okay, I got to super focus on how to make like a good song, you know what I'm saying? Versus Facts. just dropping beats off or Facts. beats, or even just pulling up with beats. Having linked with Polo, Hit Boy's life was changing fast as he received a steady stream of solid beats. Chris Acosta was good. He was good. still a relative unknown without much in the way of a name or a sound. However, he was just one introduction away from all of that changing too. We got a full house. Full house? At what point do you become introduced We're to the music family? We're about to get started soon. We would fly out here to work at studios in LA, like me, Polo, Chasing Cash, the whole squad, Esther Dean, and we would come to like Chalice or Record Plant, and I used to go to record, we used to love Record Plant, me and Chase, like we used to be there for weeks at a time, and we just ran into Kanye being in the hallway, like that's how it used to be over there, like you might see Pharrell, you might see Kanye just in there going crazy, and we, uh, we ended up connecting, I had some uh, a beat CD, 
asked him if I, if I could play a beat. First beat I played, they freestyled to the whole beat, like from the time it came on till it went off. And that was mind blowing alone. But about three, two or three years later, uh, my boy Dollar ended up introducing me to Ricky, Kanye's cousin. You know, Ricky, you know, told me Kanye was looking for stuff for my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. This was when he was still working on it. I kept sending beats, just kept sending them. Didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think like it, I, Kanye was actually going to really, you know, rock on anything. And when the album dropped, I didn't make the album. Then around November, uh, Ricky called me and was like, uh, they did a Christmas song to one of the beats. I was like, first of all, I sent so many beats. I was like, what beat is that? Like, a lot of magic happens Christmas in the studio. Music? What up, like, Pointless? Yeah, what up, Chantel? It turned out to be Christmas in Harlem, and that, that was our first collab. At that point, you start linking with Ye. You signed the deal yeah, with man. Good Music. It's a two-year production deal. Mm -hmm. What is the nature of that kind of arrangement? Um, we just had it set up to work. We're about to like, get started a shortly. Percentage of the stuff I was doing. And Still plenty of time to send it in. But I, I already the Discord is open as well. At the time, so people don't see that I was giving up 20% to my manager, 20% to Kanye, and another 10% between lawyers and accountants. So I was really thugging, really hustling at the time. I was half of my money was gone, let alone taxes. So I was really getting like 25% of my money at the time, and it was really that. That was like my you know, going paying my dues, I guess you could say. Just the trade off was being able to have that brand energy from good music and how crazy Kanye was going at the time. Do you feel like in retrospect it was worth it? Yeah, for sure. The uh, relationships I developed, being able to make niggas in Paris click, all the stuff that we collaborated on, like it definitely catapulted me to a, a different respect level. When you started working with Kanye, do you remember what beats or what, what set of beats? drew him to wanting to go into business with you on that level? My stuff sounded authentic. Like, it didn't sound like too, like, industry driven. Like, I'm trying to make a pop radio hit. Like, I just kind of just go off the feeling. And it's crazy because at the time, like, I just looked at it like, I'm going to pull up with some beats or I'm going to make some beats while I'm there and we go in. But he, like, he had this method of, like, oh, I'm, I like this piano part from this guy and I like this bass line from this guy drums from this guy, I'm gonna give you all these pieces and you reconstruct it. At the time, I didn't really compute that. I didn't know what exactly he was trying to accomplish, but that's what a real producer is, taking all those parts and, and reformulating it. I was just kind of, I guess, still coming out of the beat maker mode. Like that was me really learning what production was, like me linking up with him. I remember the first files he gave me was for liftoff on Watch the Throne. That's the first thing we ever sat down side by side at FL and, you know, touched up, worked on. And he kept getting frustrated because I, I was trying to understand what he was saying, but I didn't really understand it at the time. Was his reaction to the Paris beat instant, or did you, was that part of a group of that beats you get? That was part of a group of beats in an email, like probably out of hundreds. He probably was on a super low in Paris and oh, pulled the beat up. And then probably went crazy because just that tempo and that wave and the way Okay, we about to get started. Different. I heard the song at the um, observatory in New York. That was my first time hearing it with the <laughs> whole album. And then that shit came on and everybody lit up. I was like, oh, this shit different. Like, you know, because to me, I was looking like, man, like, why did they pick this simple beat? I just really caught an understanding for like the next wave. What's good, y'all? How y'all feel out there? It's all God given, but you know, I also have to work for it. My talent is, uh, I feel like I was put here to do what I do, but you know, it, it also takes a lot of focus. No doubt. From 2011. No doubt. No doubt. What's good, y'all? How y'all feel out there? Yeah. Oh, your computer crashed. You back again. Back again. Once again. Back in. It's the incredible. Please turn it up. Oh. Bring the noise. Shout out to Chuck D, man. He got the Bring the Noise app. It's a social media of his own for hip hop culture. <laughs> Chuck D from Public Enemy. I remember writing him a fan letter when I was 16, and he wrote me back. I sent a fan letter to Chuck D from Public Enemy when I was 16 years old. I mailed it to Def Jam or whatever the fan um, address was, 
And he wrote me back and mailed back the letter. And I was blown away because it was his handwriting. And he answered my questions honestly. He big me up. I, yo, I'll be a fan for life, man. Fan for life. You know, I said, yo, how is Def Jam? I want to be on Def Jam Records like you. What's the deal with Def Jam? He was like, yo, Def Jam Records is just like any other label. You got to be careful. You got to understand that it's a partnership and you got to negotiate your best deal. And, you know, giving me real advice as an aspiring artist. And I will always respect and appreciate him for that. And this is before social media, before there was no texting back, whatever. The man actually sat down and wrote, handwritten a letter back out of all the fans they had. So I want you to understand how important that is and how much effort and how much care that is for a man of his stature to write back a 16-year-old kid, you know what I mean, asking him questions about the industry and not just sending some generic copy and paste letter back, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to you and the Bring the Noise app. Y'all should check that out, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going to get this started. You know what we're here for. Crucial feedback. We're going to set it off. I see Chantel in the building. I see uh, Noah Hack. We're going to get to Noah Hack. Or, oh, no, you right up next. Oh, we, we right on time. We right on time. So I know you sent this in um, last week, but I didn't do the um, thing last week. So I'm going to play it this week for you. Let's get it. This is uh, in golf, featuring Spanota, Spanotolo. Oh my God, Spano, Spano. I don't know how to say that damn thing, Spanotola. I I just don't want to keep going and 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 jack up the damn whole name up terribly. Hold on. Where's the volume at? Okay. Oh, we don't hear it. Hmm. I see it, but I don't hear it. That's a little weird. Hold on. Probably got my audio on a different setting. One, hold on, one time, one time. Let's see where the audio at. Where's the audio going? Okay. That's why. That'll do it. Pull up. Chantel. Appreciate that conversation with D. What up? Spona Tola. Spana Tola. Spana Tola. Okay, there we go. Allegedly, not Sim. Okay. Back later, D. 
Retro vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you make me wanna fly your lunatic to a higher height. I'm made free by your hunger and your sacrifice. Hey. Your love covers me because it's strength for the fight. Your eyes look upon me like the moon at the ocean light. You cherish my very thoughts that are embellished by your fragrance alone. And I have desire to tell it until my day is gone. I'll speak in your wonders. Just let, let the record play your own. I wanna be in Make sure you pick up the music, streaming services, band camp, and all that. Chantel, so you know. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> CB. Make sure y'all follow Chantel. IG link in the chat.
produced by Voxy B. Her IG link in the chat as well. Let's get it. What up, Jacob? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure you follow. Make sure you follow. Project out now. EP out now. Support the artist. Buy art from the artist. I, I think iTunes is still a thing. I don't know. <laughs> I think iTunes is still a thing. I think you can still buy people singles. I think. I don't know. Because iTunes don't. Apple don't even talk about iTunes no more. They Apple Music. Stream, stream, stream. But I think you can still purchase your favorite track download for a dollar. I think it's a dollar twenty nine now, a dollar thirty. I don't even know. I'll look into that in a second. But I think people are catching on, man. These streaming services platforms is giving the artists and creative pennies and they cashing out and they investing in AI weaponry and all types of other stuff and buying up all the land. They doing all that stuff. And we left out hanging because the fans of music are being tricked. You think you're really supporting the artists when you stream them. You are, but not as much as you think. You're only giving a fraction, a fraction of a fraction of the support that you think you're giving to an artist when you stream. So if you have the extra support the artist, buy art from the artist, as they say. And I think people are catching on. I mean, James Blake made a statement like, we've been brain, we've been tricked. We, we, people think music's supposed to be free, but it ain't free to make. It ain't free to promote. It ain't free to get the quality that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I started this streaming service for my music with Bandcamp. And um, I sent it out to a close friend of the family, family in law, whatever. And he said to me, he said, "Hey, I got your link." I said, "Yeah." He said, "Yeah, I got your link, and uh, you know, I, I played some of the stuff, and I don't know what I'm listening to." I was like, "Yeah, well, it's, it's remixes." He was like, "Oh, oh, oh, that's what it is." He said, because I kind of know the song, but I don't know what you're doing. Are you, did you write the song? Are you doing the beats? So I had to break it down to him. I was like, bro, these are remixes. So I played him the original of a song, and then I played him my remix. And he was like, oh, yeah, the remix is so much better. I said, yeah, it's basically showing off my production. Then he was like, well, you know I could get this all for free. I was like, of course. The whole point of this, if you appreciate what my effort and my art, you'll support he said, oh, yeah. He said, well, people, people, be, so people pay? I said, yeah. The people who want to support me pay. It's a foreign concept right now to people, man. It's, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's like, what are you asking me? But then it'd be that same person that'd be like, what's going on with the music? Yo, what's going on with the music? Or can I get a ticket to the show? <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get it together, man. Don't expect the other person to support your favorite artist. You support your favorite artist. That's what it's about. Directly. Directly. If you can. You know what I mean? All right, so back to the music. We got Norhack straight from Germany. We hours of the morning. We're going to get the vibes going, man. Let's get it. Crucial feedbacks. Plenty of time to send joints in, man. Let's go. Try hard and you fail to stay out of my life. Slam doors in the morning, but you sneak home when it's night. Try hard and you fail to find. 
find yourself the right girl to spend time with Beautiful. you can't stand my side when the day keeps fading to waking up divine i want you on my side i want to blend in that cool twisted mind what's good twisted mind again who is right nobody nobody will ever win when we fight tell me tell me why do i feel like i'm falling when you should Try hard, I you say to find yourself the right girl to spend time with if you can't stand my side. When the day keeps fading to waking up divine, I want you on my side. I wanna blend in that good eye. When did I love you? Fading to organ, who is right? Nobody, nobody will ever win when we fight. Tell me, tell me, why do I feel like I'm falling? When you should. That was uh, Keisha Amber. She sings the demos. He writes the songs. They coming all the way from Germany, man. Appreciate you, man. Good stuff. Matter of fact, uh, do I have your IG? I think I have your IG. Let me see. I know you do it. What is it? Yeah. No hat. Yep, I do. I do. You know why. Can't trust anyone. You know why. So if y'all want to support that, y'all want to know, you want to support the writer, the producer, No Hack IG is in the chat right now. Click on that link. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. That's what we're doing here. Great vibe. Great vibe. Is that out? Is that out? Are you putting that out? Is she going to be the singer for that song or the official singer for that song? All right, so I know Lona Square is, is, is Lona Square in the building? I haven't seen that brother in a minute. Lona Square? All right, so what we're going to do right now, roll call, little roll call. We have Hive Mind with a two-pack. And then we're going to go to Nassim. And if Lona Square is in the building, we'll get, we'll, we'll get it. Oh, you sent more than one? I only see one. Hold on. Oh, and for future reference, um, Norhat. Norhat. If you want to be played immediately, jump in the Discord and post it in the Crucial Feedback channel. That's the cheat code because I, I see you you ask if you could be played first. So for future references, I um, prioritize the, the Discord because I'm trying to keep building the Discord, even though, like, you know, it's uh, Discord been around a minute. But I feel like more gamers understand the whole concept of the Discord. It's like a private server. So many damn private this and membership this and subscription that. There's so much going on. Everybody got one. You know what I mean? I remember I used to laugh at people who pay for cable. I'm like, bro, you don't have to pay for cable. Just pay for internet and get the subscription to the... 
platform you like. And next thing you know, everybody got a subscription. You get Paramount, HBO Max, or or Amazon, or Netflix. Next thing you know, you're paying way more than you did for cable. <laughs> How'd that happen? Disney Plus? I mean, goddamn, they done fooled us. They just made us pay the same more amount, but separately now and shit. So, I get it. So, said all to say Discord is the priority for the crucial feedback to get your track played early. Then comes the emails. All right. So you sent two. And yeah, if you're going to send multiple joints, send them in all at the same time. Because, you know, I can play them back to back instead of jumping around and getting back to people. So I'm going to play your second one. Then we're going to get to high mind. And then Nasim is up to that. Okay? Roll call. So you know what's going on. Because I know after a while people be like, did you get my joint? Did you get my joint? Did you see my... I, I emailed you. Did you see it? <laughs> yes, I see it. We got it now. Next one by Noah Hack. Love you, don't care. Uh, Yeah. Schizo. Ah. He did a song on one of my tracks, huh? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, if it's whack, I'ma sue you. I beg you even in the words you try to pull me in I cross the ocean for you, baby, you know I can swim I make you feel the water's good and tell you to me I rest or lose myself, I'm not a tool for what you need Tell me all you run inside, carry them to mine I promise you will never see me stepping on the line Approval from the community. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got to go this one more time, one more time, one more time. I got to absorb this. The pen game, something serious, okay? No lawsuit. Okay. I beg you even in the words you try to pull me in I cross the ocean for you, baby, you know I can swim hey. I feel the water starting, take you to feel I rest or lose myself, I'm not a tool for what you need Tell me all you want inside, carry them to mine I promise you will never see me stepping out of line Is Keisha too? All that you do is tell me that you love me, but want to how far it goes. Love you, I do, I do. Don't act like you love me too. Turn me to the danger, baby, for you to be safe. I serve the sentence all alone for you to have your space. I rather let you leave you, baby, when your spirit's slow. I hold you on my face. She sounds dope or then dope.
she from Germany too? Okay, okay, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Not mad at that. Is she from Germany too? Oh man, remix the theme song. <laughs> okay. Feeling that, man. I'm not mad. Her, her voice sounds great on that track. You know what I mean? She's from Germany, but she's half American. God bless her. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm 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 half American too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nah, good stuff, man. Nah, she sound good, man. I'm not mad at y'all. I will not call my lawyer. Hey, man, go ahead and fly, man. It's all good. Go ahead and fly. All right. So, as I said, in the order of preference. I got high mind. He just sent another one. He cheating. You good, Nasim? Well, Nasim got one track. So high mind, pardon me, high mind. I just want to play Nasim real quick because she was here first thing. First thing. First came through. So I'm going to play hers first, and then we're going to get into high mind. All right? Let's get it. Nasim. Any second now. It's not playing. Are they, are they, uh, something I could, what is this? Break me down. It's not playing. For whatever reason. Why is it not playing? Oh, there we go. There we go. High school was good. Like I'm in too deep, like I'll never heal. Reach out my hand, thinking through and through in my solitude. Should I let go? Tripping advice, losing control. Miami, Vegas. Time and time again, we're toxic like gin. You know, no, no, no. yeah, you know. No, no, no. If you love me so, let me keep my soul, my soul, soul. yeah, my soul, soul. Time and time again, enemies and friends. Yeah. 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 Ye
It's a coaster. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice dance vibe. Breaking me down. This one's good intentions. We breaking me down with good intentions. Nasim. How y'all feel out there? Rusty Early, Your carelessness Hardened The innocence Scotty Inside me I didn't think You would leave Hard And now I Hit see Clearly I wasn't looking for your attention Jacob I wanted more your affection For your ego stole A connection Chantel McNair just another Judas. Conversations with D. Good intention. Oh wow, it's a snippet. <laughs> okay. I like where you started. I think the drums could be a little more developed. They sound like demo drums in my opinion, but I'm a I'm a hard person on drums. You know what I mean? I'm a little hard on drums. But that's all. Come back with the progress. You know what I mean? All right, before we get into this. Havman. Havman is up next. Uh, Jacob said, I finally got the Chico. Ah. So we got High Mind, then we got S Dot, then we got Jacob, McNair, Chris Acosta, Rusty Joints, Pointless, Voxy B with a feed bike. <laughs> feed bike. Feed bike. All right, before I do that, I got to do my own ads. <laughs> I got to do my own ad, people. Let's get it. What's, What's good? good? Y'all, it's your man, Kerry Crucial Brothers, a.k.a. Crucial, a.k.a. Mr. Brothers, and it's here. I finally have my own subscription service for music. I've been searching for something like this for a minute, and I finally feel like I can do this through the band camp. So, I appreciate everyone who supported my content, my art, my music thus far. And if you consider subscribing, you allow me to continue to make art on my terms without worrying about algorithms, playlists, and all the noise. Unless it's crucial noise, that would be cool. So if you want to be cool, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you might think might want to subscribe. I appreciate you once again. Thank you. Peace out. Okay, I had to do it. How am I? Let's get it. I got you, Nasim. Yeah. Yeah. High school in the building. Appreciate that, Jacob. What's, What's good, good y'all? It's your man, Kerry Crucial, brother. Oops. My bad. Hey. Hot mind hit maker. Hot mind the hit maker. What's, 
What's good, good? y'all? It's your man, Kerry Cruz. You like the way I s- uh, scratched that in, right? <laughs> That ain't no bars. <laughs> That's all candence. That's all flows and candence. Hey! Put words to it later. Get the flow down and get words to it later. Hey, put it in the letter. I'm the one that put it in the letter. It's not a letter. That's the end of the letter. Hey, hey, put it in the letter. 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 Put it in Put it in the election, under the dun 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 That's bone thuggish. That's the bone thuggish flow. <laughs> oh, the crucial conflict. <laughs> Might have to reach out to Tech Nine, huh, man? That might be a dope collab right there. He's the king of the independence. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, yo. Hitmaker. All right, we got a YouTube. I like the YouTube. Is we YouTubing? All right, we got a YouTube video. So what am I doing? How do I do this? Oh, okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon moi. Is that great, Poupon? Yeah. 
I'm thinking of a meme that's in my head right now. I'm gonna copy this. They do extra shit on Discord. Yeah, that ain't work. Oh yeah, it worked now. Okay. Trying to <laughs> hey hey wait hey hey bro 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 you say you play yet bro? Relax, son. Relax, son. All right, cool. Now we ready. Shout out to Pointless. Hot <laughs> mind. Pointless efforts. Devil may cry. Hold on. Getting a little feedback. Damn. Let's get it. How y'all feel out there? Track on, been a minute since I hit the atmosphere, but now I blast off. Fell off the face of the earth a couple times, but now I'm back on. I told him come and see me like it's Capcom Devil may cry if you know what it's like growing up back home You need to be taking over when chest is cold with it last long Give me the lance of Michael, I'ma stab you in your backbone Mark a cane, I swing the blade and now I'm on the path on Tracities committed, now my business, I ain't going back home Been a minute since I hit the atmosphere and now I blast off Fell off the face of earth a couple times but now I'm back on They want to back on Come see me like it's Capcom Devil Capcom, nigga know what's like growing up so how mind we do this, we don't do this shit in no time. Parallel universe, I get signals down on both sides. Tired of seeing me pop a bitch, you should close both eyes. Told him I don't need no code. Okay, we're gonna bring that back, y'all. Shout out to Point. Track on. Been a minute since I hit the atmosphere, but now I blast off. Fell off the face to earth a couple times, but now I'm back on. They want to verse us. dot you up next. Like Jacob. Devil may cry if you know what it's like growing up. Back home. You need to be taking over when chest is cold with it and last long. Give me the lance of Michael, I'ma stab you in your backbone. Mark a cane, I swing the blade, and now I'm on the path on. Tracities committed, now my business, I ain't going back home. Been a minute since I hit the atmosphere, but now I blast off. Fell off the face of earth a couple times. But now I'm back on They want the verses I told them Come see me like it's Capcom Devil may cry If you know what's like Growing up Told how mind we do this We don't do this shit In no time Parallel universe I get signals down On both sides Tired of seeing me Pop a bitch You should close both eyes Told them I don't need no coke My soul is on that goat Hey. Goat sells The neighborhood Tells me that we ain't all fine oh. Red and blue pill TM Skip it yellow When I got my ah. Be the Mac Millie Damn you see the outline Burning soul inside my chest You can see me outside Try to show you the way But I ain't never been one too high But you gotta play it low Keep up with these hard times Play long game, that's why your bitch up on the back line Don't give her attention, she can seek and she won't act fine Now you see that look up on her face, she on demon time Recognize I needed mine, read the eyes, they was beating like the snakes We gon' slit the fine, got a crazy night Warriors up on the high, but oh, on yeah. the road. Been a minute since I hit the atmosphere, but now I blast off Fell off the face of earth a couple times, but now I'm back on They want the verses, tell me to see me like the shit was Capcom Devil may cry if you know what's like growing up, back home you may be taking over, but chest is cold with it last long. Give it a lance of Michael, I'ma stab you in your backbone. Mark a cane, I swing the blade, and now I'm on the path on. Atrocities committed, now my business, I ain't gonna blast off. off. Yeah, man. Hive mind. Pointless efforts. Staying consistent, man. Staying consistent. Great stuff, for real, for real. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. 2024, man. 2024. All right, so next up, we got Soul Centric S. Oh, wait, hold on. Why is that like that? I'm trying to organize. Organize. Here we go. That's better. Okay. Now we now we now we leveled out. We leveled out. S dot. In the building. So centric. Make sure you follow the brother. I'll put his IG in the chat as well. 
Shout out to everybody on the check-in. Where am I streaming? I am streaming on Facebook. Kick. I don't even know if I got any follows on Kick, but I'm still streaming on Kick. <laughs> Twitch. X, a.k.a. Twitter. And, of course, Mixcloud.com for Crucial Noise Radio. And I'm on Tiki Taki. What up? To the people on Tiki Taki, appreciate the love, the likes. Yeah, but hit the likes and let more people know I'm live. I got 326 likes. I think I need 1,000 before TikTok cares. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works, man. I'm just streaming. You know what I'm saying? Sharing the love. Y'all show up, I show up, and we share the love. Man, it's, it's been like some of y'all been rocking for three years plus. Four years, five years before Twitch. I appreciate y'all all, oh, man. And it's always great vibes, dope people. I can't be mad. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, man. Let's get it. So centric as dot. Talented, talented, talented people in this. Yeah. Tell me you want me when I'm on the run Tell hey. me are you there for me when it's said and done hey. And I know it's hard for you to ever trust Who? When it's all said and done, I will shed my blood, shed my blood. Yeah, Tell me you need me when you're feeling high what? I know somebody hurt you, I just wonder why Why? I can see that you're scarred when I look in your eyes So tell I... me, am I the feeling? Yes, it's a D twisted. No, we had to pull that back. No doubt, twisted. Facebook, y'all, y'all? Chris Acosta. I would. I would if I could. Tell me you want me when I'm on the run. Tell me, are you there for me when it's set? It feels so good. And I know it's hard for you to ever trust. Feel so good. When it's all said and done, I will shed my blood. How y'all feel? Yeah. Tell me you need me when you're feeling high. I know somebody hurt you. I just wonder why. Why? I can see that you're scarred when I look in your eyes. So tell me, am I the feeling? Or am I still by your side? I IG in the chat. No doubt, yeah, yeah. Pre pandemic. Tell me you want me when I'm on the run. Tell me, are you there for me when it's said in BC? Before COVID. For you to ever trust. When it's all said and done, I will share my blood. That was a 
Amazing, bro. Amazing, bro. Is this out? Is this out? Is this coming out? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I need. I, I got some questions, bro. I got some. <laughs> I got some questions for you, bro. First of all, is this out? One. Number two. Who's the artist? Evan. Evan Have. The villain. Who? Who's the artist? What's the artist's name and in, in the title of the song? Is it Evan Half? I know there's like a live latency. The fuck? Evan Hayes. Okay, Evan Hayes. Okay, let's see. Evan. Hey. What's the name of the song? Tidy with a billion. Okay, Evan Hayes. Villain. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Yeah, tell me you want me when I'm on the run. Okay, we got it. Are you there for me when it's said and done? We got it. And I know it's hard for you to ever trust. When it's all said and done, I will shed my blood. Yeah, tell me you need me when you're feeling high. I know somebody hurt you. I, just I need everybody, everybody go on YouTube. See that you scarred when I look in your eyes. So to give it a thumbs up. To get these streams up by your side. I push a couple away. I made a couple go crazy. My bad. I made a couple mistakes. I've been in love with the chase. I know. I think I'm stuck in a maze. I'm Link in the chat. Ain't my bad. I'm never letting you play me. I know I'm stuck in my way. Tell me you want me when I'm on the run. Tell me, are you there for me when it's said and done? And I know it's hard for you to ever trust when it's all said. Any creation? Still what up? Cause I'm used to playing for no side. I don't been running through red flags. And I got a lot on my plate. What am I bum? I'ma take it. I gotta set up the stages. You just be going through phases. I'm saying sorry, no changing. Oh, last night she said, Oh, say hey. You know what I'm saying? Good stuff.
give them a little, little, little more direction to help people support. Because I see everybody was feeling it, so we had to give it a little more direction so people know where to find it. That's all this is about. It ain't just about feedback. It's also about promotion and shedding light on people. You know what I'm saying? So next up by Soul Centric. This is Nasty Remix. Eric Bellinger. Produced by S. Centric. Let's get it. How y'all feel out there? Log on to crucialnoise.com. I'll be back. Hey, boy, I'm mad. It's to the side. That's what's up, new Dave East. That's what's up, Anit. Looking forward to hearing it. Sean Trey. Allegedly, Anik, allegedly. <laughs> I can be. Why should we try to go against the gray, girl? I'm old school. I keep my locations off. <laughs> You gon' make big daddy throw some change Got me thinking I love her Take your body for a So I could put you to Shout out to Eric, Eric Bellinger, man My guy Do it again As I swim my way up through your legs I know you can't stay with it all big shit And he pull up just to let you go I'ma do my dance in that hey. I'm on walk in it MJ till the break of hey. dawn hey. Take your body for a ride. Shout out to the people on YouTube So I Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Let me know you. Let me know it's real. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Let me know it's real. I see you on Twitter. I got a few of y'all on Twitter, aka X. Share the link. Let me know it's real. Shout out to S. Doc. Great vibes, as always. Got that 90s line, that 90s, that 90s solo. <laughs> Love it, man. Love it, brother. You are amazing. And you are appreciated. Next up, we got Jacob with a tree pack. Jacob, also from Germany, if I'm correct. I think Jacob's from Germany, too. We got two people from Germany. We worldwide, man. We international. We international. We international. Let's get it. Side. 
Germany in the building. Too rusty. A great vibe right there. Great vibe right there. We're not done. We're not done. Jacob. De Janeiro, baby. What did you want? I go buy a Ferrari for you. I go buy a Ferrari for you. Get you latest designers, Bobo. I go buy up for you. I go buy up for you. I go buy up for you. You deserve it, you do. I'm gonna buy, buy, buy for you, baby. I'm gonna buy for you. I'm gonna buy for you, baby. Anyway, you buy your pass, I go slow. Would you marry me? She tell me not so. Let me tell you, girl, I don't be why you. African girl, that's why I'm a holo. Then you have a girl, then dip by your toe. Sexy people, my girl, my stuff by your flow. Girl, come wind up on the mark up. You don't know. I'm gonna be my number one. You don't know. I'm gonna make a number two. You don't know. You're gonna chop my money when you want to. That's all I gotta say to you. From my tree. Oh, not today. This time I won't just let you escape from me. Oh, not today. Girl, I'll buy you what you want to. Won't hesitate to flaunt you. Make sure you know who you belong to. And kill a man if he ever wrong you. Just wanna make you laugh like a lot of loser. Don't want you hanging around with no loser. Really do love the way you maneuver. So I have I feel, to. I feel like I'm in a club overseas. Partying in Germany. Nigeria. Kenya. You deserve it, you do. She had this girl, I must move her body Jamaica I come up and talk my shop They think one time that we don't see anybody Hey uh, Baby, all night I've been staring at your body Too much fire for your body too Brooklyn Too much for your body I go buy Crown Heights Oh man I go buy anything for my woman When the name of every day for Kota Every day, holiday for my woman I go win every day for my woman Every night, every day for my woman then they won't be there to suffer Every day, 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 every day
My girl looks so fine, oh look how she mine, oh look how she de mine, oh Hey! He go and spend every time, spend every dime, I feel spend every right dime, now. oh so fine, oh, look how she wine, oh, look how she de wine, oh. butterfly for no reason, butterfly. Yeah, what did you want to? I go buy a for you. Get you latest designers, and I go buy up for you. I go buy up for you. I go buy up for you. You deserve it, you do. I go buy up for you. What? We got one. Yeah, I'm standing up right now, so I'm, I'm out of frame right now. I had to stand up and stretch my legs so I could party with y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jacob, let's go. That's all I got to say. You know what I mean? America got to step their shit up. <laughs> Y'all watching too much social media, man. Get off, get your face off the screen. Get back to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Jacob. Lord Byron in the house. Come on, bro. Come through so I can get banned on YouTube. <laughs> Motherfuckers be getting that YouTube ID. On the Warner Brothers joints, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. All right, so I got to do this again because there's always new eyes. We got to do it. Like, I know Twitch is doing their own goddamn advertising on y'all. I don't even know what they ever... Anybody out there seeing ads? Is anybody seeing ads out there? Do y'all see ads? Anybody? Be real. 
Oh, yes. Rusty Joints. I support my peoples, bro. I'm a fan of Rusty Joints, man. Let it be known, man. Let it be known. I'm a fan of Rusty Joints. Shit's real. Now you know the deal. Shit's real. Queens in the house. Queens get the money. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Queens get the money. Okay, the fact that everybody said that they don't see ads, that means you subscribers. Anique, Anique is busy. I know she not subscribed to me. What was they advertising? I'm, I'm, I'm curious because I have no idea what the fuck they advertising. If they advertise a Coca-Cola, don't believe it. I don't drink no goddamn Coca-Cola. <laughs> All right, I'm lying. Once in a while, I might throw it in the cognac. <laughs> but I'm not promoting that. Just to let you know. Speaking of advertisement, oh, see, you're not subscribed. But you don't have to subscribe. I just want to make this clear to everybody. Oh, you got German ads? Oh, that's interesting. I never thought of that. So, Jacob, you get ads in German? What, what are the ads advertising to you? Yeah, yeah. You not subscribe? All right. A Kia. Okay, a car. I ain't mad at the car. I never drove a Kia in my whole life. Mentos. <laughs> Diabetic meds. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's what you saw? B-Boy, hold up. How you seeing that, Rusty? You been subscribed forever. What, what are they advertising in German, Jacob? Beer? What are they advert? I'm curious. What are they advertising in German in Germany on my Twitch page? I have no idea what they advertising. I know they ain't doing drugs in Germany. I heard the only two places where they advertise prescription drugs is America and New Zealand. So I know for sure Germany is not getting advertised any prescription drug drugs. Football, female football. Okay, that's different. Female football team. I would love to see the ad, to be honest with you. <laughs> I would love to see that ad. Like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, 13 month. TV ads, okay, TV shows. Steve Flight was good. That's interesting. I never know what they showing. So... As I said, I'm not, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, I'm not mad at you. Excuse me. Not YouTube. YouTube is free. If you're not subscribed to my Twitch, I'm not mad at you because the main subscription I'm pushing is my Bandcamp. And I have a URL for my Bandcamp subscription service. Of course, you're not seeing ads, how mom, because you subscribe. Subscribers do not see ads. Shout out to all the subscribers. <laughs> But you mess, you mess, you messing me up. I'm trying to say something here. I'm trying to say something here. You messing me up. I'm trying to say something here. What I'm trying to say is, if you're not subscribed to my Twitch, I am not mad at you, because my main focus of subscriptions is for where my music lives, which is on Bandcamp. But you can get to the band camp, go into band camp, or mrbrothers.app. So I said all that about advertisement to let y'all know and remind you, like, that's the main thing. So if you have to choose between Twitch and band camp, I'd rather you do band camp because Twitch takes 50%. And they don't do nothing for a brother. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm keeping it real. They don't do nothing. They just like, oh, we showing you. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I'm going to run my ad that I can control. Sorry, sorry, uh, Jacob. It's in English, but I know you know English by now. But uh, yeah, that's where I want everybody to support. So. This is my ad for that. Sponsored by 
Bandcamp. Duly noted. What's good, y'all? It's your man, Kerry Crucial Brothers, a.k.a. Crucial, a.k.a. Mr. Brothers, and it's here. I finally have my own subscription service for music. I've been searching for something like this for a minute, and I finally feel like I can do this through the band camp. So, I appreciate everyone who supported my content, my art, my music thus far. And if you consider subscribing, you allow me to continue to make art on my terms without worrying about algorithms, playlists, and all the noise. Unless it's crucial noise, that would be cool. So if you want to be cool, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you might think might want to subscribe. I appreciate you once again. Thank you. Peace out.